This work focuses on the analysis method for the design and manufacture of sports and serial prothesis. Traumatic lower limb amputation are the most common in previously healthy individuals under 40 years of age, but there are multiple causes of amputation in addition to accidental ones. The incidence in young people produces the need for functional adjustment to daily, professional and sport activities. This project addresses the study of functional prosthesis, specifically in dynamic below knee lower limb amputation prosthesis for a sports practice made of carbon fiber. The objective is to obtain a study method that allows defining its biomechanical behavior and make a comparison with alternative based on the application of new materials and advanced manufacturing process that offer possible improvements in performance and alternative in its designing and customization. For this study, four different models of Corvo have been designed using the CATIA software. Two of these models are inspired by two different commercial cargo processes, named Sprinted and Runner, while for the other two models a new design is proposed. Once the prototypes have been designed, we proceed to describe the analysis of the four models with four different materials, carbon fiber epoxy, titanium, inconel, and carbon fiber PEG. Therefore, it has been decided to apply a fixed support to the upper part of the crossbow and reaction for of 2000 and 100 at the lower end of the prototypes. The static and fatigue tests of the prosthesis are carried out in sprinting condition to consider the impact and stresses suffered by the crossbow. The static analysis is focuses on the study of the maximum displacement, the maximum stress and the safety factor, while fatigue simulations will analyze the safety factor and the life of the lift. A maximum deformation of up to 50 mm will be taken as valid. The stress limit will correspond to the elastic limit of each material. Another important feature of this prosthesis is weight. The crossbow should, should be as light as possible between 1 and 2 kg. From the results obtained in the static and fatigue simulation, the possibility of a second modification of the design for topological or lattice optimization will be studied using a third-based software. The resulting design will be subjected to the same analysis as the initial models. The four recent models tested satisfy the maximum deformation requirement of less than 50 mm. All models meet the condition of a safety factor greater than one in both static and fatigue simulation. This means that all models simulated under the effect of the cyclic load have a life cycle of 10 rise to the power of 8 cycles. Mass of models will be the most determin determining factor for the rest of the study. Titanium and inconel exceeding the established mass limit of 180% for titanium and 350% for inconel. Therefore, it should be noted that the carbon fiber proxy and carbon fiber peg composed meet all the design specification established for static and fatigue simulation. The topologically optimized models follow a similar trend as the initial model. The runner model suffer much higher deformation compared to the other models even exceeding the limit. The fatigue simulation accentuates the bow leaving the maximum stress very close to the fatigue limit. Re regarding the mass, it has been possible to reduce the volume of all models making them light. The lattice structure suffer from very high stress level and deformation in some models also the fatigue simulation corroborate the poor design of the, of the sprinter and runner models. Firstly, the runner models have a better performance than the sprinter in terms of effectiveness. On the other hand, the topological and lattice optimization made it possible to reduce the mass of the models. With regard to the materials, the most notable thing is the discarding of inconel due to its high density. After analyzing all the points of this study, has for us materials, design, manufacturing, technologies, and simulation, 
it is concluded that it's possible to design crossbows for transtibial support processes with different geometries and manufacturing technologies including additive manufacturing.